Hello everyone. My name is Mona Sare. Welcome to my presentation on Dick Social Side. I want to ask you a couple questions. Do you want to learn about world fastest airplane? And do you want to want to learn about the machine that turn water into wine? Dig will answer those questions for you. So let's learn about Dig. Dig started as an experiment in November 2004 by Kevin Ross, Ian Byron, and Jay Edison. The site's main function is to let users discover, share, and recommend web content. The user can submit a web page for general consideration. The member can vote for the page by clicking Dig. The history. Dig version 2 was released in July 2005 with a new interface by web design company Silver Orange. New feature included a friend list and the ability to dig a story without being redirected to a success page. One year later, as part of Dig version 3, the website added specific category for technology, science, world, business, video, entertainment, and gaming, as well as view all section that merge all category. Interface adjustments were made in August 2007, and by 2008, the homepage was attracting, attracting over 236 million visitors annually, according to Compete.com survey. There are a lot of people they uh, visit DIG all around the world, like United States, India, Pakistan, United Kingdom, Canada, Indonesia, Russia, Mexico, Philippines, and Brazil. DIG for sale. Beta War have purchased everything of DIG site that was left after the Washington Post and LinkedIn done with the deal. This deal was reported around $500,000. BetaWorks CEO John Borkwick became Dig's new chief after Kevin Ross. Site redesign. On, on July uh, 20, 2012, new owner BetaWorks announced via Twitter that they were rebuilding Dig from scratch, turning Dig back into a startup. Beta Work gave a project a six week deadline. Survey of existing users through the website rethinkdig.com were used to inform the development of a new user interface and user experience. Dig version 1 launched a day early on July 31, 2012. It adds more feature, more image, and top popular and upcoming story. There is increased support for sharing content to other social platforms such as Twitter and Facebook. Dig is a social network. The site is free and anyone can view the site content. To participate in a digging process, you must be a member and sign in in Dig. So let's log into Dig and find out how it works. Okay. When log when log on to the website www.dig.com, you will see a variety of article here. Once you get in the front page, you will notice it's a split into three sections. So let's see why. The first section here, it has the most popular article. Uh, for example, that you see this article, there is nine thousand over 9,000 uh, reader dig for that uh, story. Um, on the bottom of, the, uh, of each article, you see there are four features. Um, you can dig for the story, you can save it on your computer, you can share it on Facebook and Twitter. The second section, if you scroll down, you will see 
the most the most dug uh, video if you scroll a little bit below down here you will see the most dug story but they are not as popular as the top one why because not a lot of people have dug for them yet if you see for example this one has 121 this one has a hundred so it's still in the process to be a top story it's just a, a popular but it's not top story yet as the one on the top on the right side here you'll see the upcoming story they have just been submitted to the website and still in the process of being dug by the reader like for example you see here at uh, this uh, story is just one person dug for it and this one none of it so they still in the process as soon as they become a popular one it would be in this section and if gets a lot of people dug for it it would be a top story which is going to be on the top of the page on the top side on the top of the page here there is a, another uh, feature which is the daily dig if you click on it there is a feature that you can subscribe by email to receive top story and video. I really highly recommend it that you can take advantage of it as I did that for myself. All what you need to do is just to add your email here and hit subscribe and every morning you will receive um, the top story and video to your email. I really enjoy reading it. It's very informative uh, article. On the left side here, there is other two features, Reader and Video. So let's click on Reader. In response to the announced shutdown of Google Reader, Dig announced on March 14, 2013 that it was working on its own RSS Reader. Dig Reader launched on June 28, 2013 as a web and iOS application. An Android application also was released on August 29. The second feature is video. If you click on it, there is a lot of videos that is really interesting to watch it and it's ready for you as soon as you click on it, you'll be able to watch it, no problem. Uh, since we're launching Dig, Video tag has consistently have more traffic than any other feature and in order to meet the growing demand, Dig team announced launching Dig Video, a section of Dig solely dedicated to collecting and promoting the best and most interesting video content on the internet. If you want to submit your own article to Dig website, so what you should do you can scroll all the way down here and you see on the bottom submit a link so let's click on it okay so what you need to do you need to search the internet and trying to find a valid news source it has to be a valid news source because Dig does not accept any article that does not come from a valid source. So you search for the article that interested you and it has to be within the same area of interest of, the, of Dig. Uh, you view the article and you uh, copy and paste the URL here and sub hit submit. Submit link. You will receive um, uh, a thank you that you submit your article and that will be indication that it went through. You can post a story uh, to the dig queue yourself and hope other users find it interesting enough to dig to dig it straight to, uh, to the front page. It's actually a lot of fun to see if your story make it. All you need to do is click submit a story. It will either get enough dig to move to the home page or eventually disappear if it doesn't get enough dig. Once an article gets enough dig and meet a bunch of other secret requirements, it's promoted to the top of the page. 
and there are truly dedicated uh, reviewers who are combining the queue to actively promote good article and report the bad article, which is eventually will get removed. So how you can sign in for Dib? If you click on sign in, you will you will have three options. You have Facebook, you have Twitter, and Google. You can create an account using either your Facebook or Twitter. If you decide to sign up for Dig with Facebook, all the story that you dig will be shared to your Facebook timeline. You can disable the timeline sharing at any time by visiting setting and just keep the story on your computer or, or your account if you don't want to share it on Facebook. If you scroll all the way down here, you will see Dig Everywhere and that you can follow us on Twitter, on Tumblr, Facebook, Google Plus, uh, Dig Top Story RSS. It's really a great website that I recommend for everyone to uh, subscribe on Dig and have an account to uh, be in contact with all the interesting story and video that you can learn a lot from it. So let's go back to our presentation. There is some reference here that you can read it and log in and, and read more about DIG. Uh, you will enjoy it and, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, you will learn a lot about, uh, about uh, DIG through that. Uh, thank you for listening and I hope you learned a little bit about DIG and looking forward to answer your question and, uh, uh, and enjoy. Thank you.